Yo guys, what's going on? Monday to Six here, back with the 2004 Toyota Sequoia. And today we're gonna be talking about step two on how to protect your catalytic converters. Here we got this 3 16 cable here. We're gonna be wrapping it around our catalytic converters and making it damn near impossible to steal. All right guys, hope you enjoy. Here is our kit content. This is what we're gonna be using to secure our cats. Everything you see here, there will be a link down in the description. Alright, here we are under the Sequoia again. You can see my recently painted um, catalytic converters here. I have the steel cable. Essentially what I'm going to do is just wrap the cat in it. We're going to try to get as much back here near the back. And we're just going to wrap it up around here and near the front. Essentially what we're going to do bring all that cable to this point right here and then we're going to through bolt it there is a hole right about here now we're going to run the hardware through and we're going to attach it right here all right this is what we got here we got the looped end this already comes pre-looped we're going to throw this over the hardware here now that we got the hardware temporarily in place here, you're just going to take all your cable. You can just wrap this up as much as you want. I'm going to do it. It's going to deter anybody. It's going to make them really hard to take these cats. So I'm going to wrap it here on the front, wrap it around the back, just wrap it as much as I can. If you make it hard for them, they're most likely going to move on to a vehicle that's much easier. We got some more running back here. Just gotta run the cable. All right, this is what I got so far. Got it wrapped. Got it wrapped back here. Have it wrapped up top. Just gonna keep going. What I do is I'm gonna wrap a couple more times right here. Secure this. Just gonna go up here around the heat shield. All right, now it all depends how many more times you want to keep going around this. You can use the whole thing if you want, or you can cut it anytime you want. Just make sure you put tape on the end before you cut it or else the wires will fray out. But I think this is looking pretty good. All right, I think I got the cats protected enough. Got this cable all tight. Coming here to the very end so we can put this loop on the piece of hardware right there. All right, getting ready to put this on right here. This is gonna make the end loop so we can mount it to our piece of hardware here. All right, now we're gonna be putting on, gonna be making our loop. Got part of the, actually nuts on here. Once you made your loop right here and you have your hardware clamped, you can grab this, just simply move it on up, just like that, and then tighten your hardware down. Just tighten this hardware. Okay, we're coming up here to our piece of hardware. I have both of the eyelets through. Put my hardware on. Then we're going to tighten everything up. All right, about some of the excess here, what we're going to do is we're going to cut this off with an angle grinder. Just going to grab some electrical tape here, put it on this little piece so when we cut it, the cable doesn't free out. Right here is the driver's side all buttoned up, looking good and secured. I'm happy with it. 
good luck. Even if you try to cut here and there, this is definitely going to be uh, hard to get from the frame. So anything we can do to help protect the cats. All right, let's go ahead and do the passenger side. First thing we're going to do is run our piece of hardware through the frame, just like that. And then we'll uh, we'll start our eye loop on our cable here. But um, yeah, this will be the first step on the passenger side. All right, we got our cable here with our eye loop. We'll go ahead and just get the hardware ran through it, get that started. All right, I got this side pretty much all cabled up, just like the driver side. Just putting my little eye hooks on now so I can put it on my hardware. Right there. Getting ready to put another clamp on it and then I'll cut off the excess. All right, I have the cable on here. All the clamps are on. Hardware is tight. Got double nut on it. Here's the cable on the back side. But I have the driver side and passenger side all secured now with the cable. Here's the driver and passenger side of the cats. Have the cable on them, bolted up. Looking good. I would like to do a step three. Um, I've been trying to locate a skid plate with the added catalytic converter protection but it looks like everything's out of stock or not available anymore. If anybody knows where to find this, I'll gladly install it on the Sequoia so we can all see how it's done. Let me know. All right, this completes it on step two of the catalytic converter deterrent. Hopefully this helps protect your Sequoia from catalytic converter thieves. They're gonna get under there, see that mess. They're gonna move on to the next vehicle that they can uh, you know, remove their cats super easy. And as always, guys, Monday to 6, out.